Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that Strategic Finance has warned investors that it may not be able to make its first payment of 9 cents in the dollar on January the 7th. This was the first payment agreed under the moratorium that investors agreed to in December last year. So this was the first money they were supposed to get. Strategic Finance controls the Sentinel Tower project on the North Shore, the Fiji Hilton project and the Soho Square project, none of which have been completed or all sold. The problem for Strategic Finance and for its investors is that it still owes money to Bank of Scotland, which has a prior charge over these assets. They include an $11 million of loans that have to be repaid before the end of the year. Now, Strategic says it may still make this payment or some of the payment. This will depend on how many of the loans come back in in the next few weeks over Christmas New Year. Investors are still owed $291 million. It's too late, though, for them to use new rules being put in place by the Commerce Minister, Simon Power. He wants to toughen up the rules so that investors can directly put companies into receivership if they miss moratorium payments. Currently, the role of the trustee is key in deciding whether or not a company is put into receivership. And so far, in the eyes of the Commerce Minister and others, I have to say, trustees have failed to protect the interests of investors here. And meanwhile, finally overseas, Dubai received a $10 billion bailout from its fellow emirate, Abu Dhabi. It's going to repay the Nakhil Sukuk, which it, it, many people thought it would default on. Also, Citigroup has announced plans to repay its bailout to the US government. It will be the last big bank to repay that money. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9, brought to you on December the 15th.